So this is the video response for the guy who sent me the email about my video that I did for producers that sell beats for ten to twenty five dollars. He goes, Okay, I had to write you personally about the video you did on selling beats. First let me say I'm a little confused because you are a producer who has had some success placing material with major label artists, correct? Correct. If so, then why do you care if some random cat wants to sell his beats for ten to twenty dollars a pop? If anything, according to you, that will leave you open to make a placement. As far as leasing beats for cheap and being able to get major placements, I actually know of several producers who do or have done both with great success. And then he starts naming producers as examples of people who sell beats and are successful at it. And blah, 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 blah. So check it out, man. First of all, if you're a producer and you got tight music and you sell it for 10 to $25, you're going to make some money. Because common sense, this is like seeing a Benz, a brand new Benz on a lot for 100 bucks. You're going to buy it. So that's not a problem. I'm not knocking your hustle. All I'm saying is what you do in, what, in your own hustle, if it doesn't affect me, it's cool. But indirectly, you selling beef for 10 to $25 affects me and it affects you in the long run. The reason why is because if you selling beef for 10 to $25 now and you're very successful at it and you try to turn around and ask that same person to pay you $10,000 that's so used to paying you 10 to $25, they're never going to pay you the money that, you, that you're really worth. So you're going around being mad at me for something that I'm trying to help you with and you should really understand that it's not about what's today, it's about long term. How can you sell beats for 10 to 25 dollars on the internet and then when a real rapper calls like a soldier boy or the game or 50 cent call and want to buy a beat and ask how much you charge you're gonna say 10,000 they're gonna look at you like you crazy how you gonna charge me ten thousand dollars dog and you going around selling beats for 10 to 25 dollars you bringing down a dollar value I said like a girl coming up to you and ask you to suck your dick and you say how much do you charge and she say, I charge $10. So I suck your dick for $10. You're going to look at that chick like, hell no. If she would charge me 100 then that means, you know, she worth it or, or whatever. But a chick that offered to suck my dick for $10, you must be a hoe. And that's the same thing with selling beats for $10, $25, man. If you sell beats for $10, $25, the peep, of course, you're going to be successful. Why? Because a lot of people that rap don't have money. So it's convenient for them and it's convenient for you. So they're going to buy your beats and you're going to be happy because you're making a little money. But at the end of the day, you're never going to be valued or nobody's going to ever take you serious. So then, basically what's going to happen is you're so used to making 10 to $25 per beat. When a signed artist, you want to ask them for $10,000, they're going to say, no, we'll give you $2,000, right? So guess what's going to happen? You're going to take that $2,000 because that's all you can get. So now you just set the bar for all producers on your level. So from that point on, no producer is going to get more than $2,000 per beat. Four or five years ago, producers was getting $10,000, starting off producers. Now, you lucky if you get $2,500. And that's because people being desperate and lowering the price of their beats, man. That's all I'm saying. But y'all want to be impatient and you start making beats and you want to see some money and you ain't paid your dues. And you start getting desperate and you want to make some money however you can so you hoard yourself out. And you don't even think of it like that. You just look at it as a hustle. Like, yeah, I'm making ten, twenty-five dollars, and I guarantee you, if you sell t beats for ten, twenty-five dollars today, I guarantee you that you don't see yourself selling beats for ten, twenty-five dollars in ten years. But if you keep selling beats for ten, twenty-five dollars today, you're not gonna be able to make a lot of money in the future. What happens if you get successful off your beat? If you get successful off my beat. <laughs> a lot of different things can happen. I've seen it happen before. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother video. But basically, look at it like this. It don't even make sense. If you're a producer and you sell beats for $10, right? How many beats would you have to sell to make $1,000? 100 beats. To make $1,000, you would have to sell 100 beats. Now, how hard is it for a producer to make 100 beats in one year, let alone sell 1,000, 100 beats to make $1,000? Do that even make sense? Well, how about you just be more patient and just sell a thousand, uh, one beat for a thousand dollars? Then you didn't whore yourself out. People aren't sick of your sound. You got money. You know what I'm saying? And people are gonna respect you because a lot of people who have a thousand dollars to pay for beats, but you don't even want to wait for them to come around. 
stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's like going into a grocery store or going to, going to a Foot Locker and seeing some Jordans that was 150, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. That just make you work harder to get those shoes because you feel like it's valuable. But if you go and see some Jordans for 10 bucks, you're going to buy them and buy them and buy them and you're going to eventually get sick of them. And that's the same thing with beats. So that's why I say fuck anybody selling beats for 10, 25 dollars because you're fucking up the game. Take it. You can agree with it. And if you still disagree with this, you stupid. You just need to quit. And it's real talk. If you're a starting off producer and you want to make money, it's not going to come now. The grind for a producer is 10 years. It's funny, but nobody is going to really make a living off of producing unless you've done it for 10 years. So if you get into it, you got to be ready for that. You can't get in the gate and make a million your first year. <clears throat> it happened. Some people win the lottery, but <clears throat> it's not going to be like that for everybody. Everybody wants Soldier Boy success. Everybody, but they don't know what Soldier Boy had to do, you know, to be successful. You know what I mean? Straight up. So, I think I said enough. Um, anybody who got any more questions about that, y'all more than welcome to email me, and I will definitely do a video response. But don't go and say my video didn't make sense just because you didn't understand it. Straight up.